Kathy, you brought up something in our discussions. You you say, I think the term you use is one form to rule them all. And I wanted to know, you know, like, it sounds like you, you know, in, in my mind, that's a form that can be used for multiple uh, processes, perhaps, you know, undergraduate application and postgrad applications. Uh, now that we're kind of, we're moving past our headaches, I'd love to hear from this panel, you know, the successes. And Andrew, that that's one of them. Um, and Kathy, t talk to me a little bit more about that one form to rule them all. Yeah, sure. The conditional questions, like Andrew described, are awesome. Um, but let's be clear, what we really love about form assembly is that magical prefill connector. And that prefill connector, which reads data from Salesforce and populates the form, allows that one form to rule them all approach. Very few schools do this. Most schools build each form individually, which can be, you know, a lot of overhead because every time a, a form needs to change, somebody who built the form has to go in. Um, or if, if somebody leaves, you have to change ownership of that form to be able to go in and make those edits. What I like to do is be, is build the form using the prefill connector to read records in Salesforce. So if, for instance, you had a customer satisfaction survey or an application, I don't care, um, a forms, a forms, a form, uh, I can read the question and populate that question into the form because that question is a record in Salesforce and a permissioned user has the ability to make changes to that record, make it active inactive, um, be able to change a word in it, fix a typo, whatever they need to do. Um, they can do it right in Salesforce and it will be reflected immediately on that form. I would love to show this at some point and I will maybe an upcoming higher ed user group or something um, because it is an approach that saves not only time on, on you know Salesforce admins uh, side where we don't have that overhead anymore, but it empowers our users, our permissioned users to control the content of their forms. It's a, it's a very interesting approach and one that I am a big advocate of, as you can tell.